Hey, welcome in fam. How are y'all doing today? So we're going to get into what is being banned, why it's being banned, what you need to know about it. Um, before we get into it, please hit that like, share the video out, definitely leave comments. And let me share my screen with you guys. I'll put it where you can see it. So TikTok parent company ByteDance has no plans to sell the app after Biden has signed a bill that includes potential ban. ByteDance on Thursday denied that it plans to sell TikTok after a report claimed the company was internally exploring scenarios to sell a majority state, preferably to a firm outside the tech industry. Reuters reported the news after Biden on Wednesday announced that he had, sent, he had signed into law the National Security Supplemental Bill, which includes a potential TikTok ban. Now, there are questions as to why they want to ban TikTok. Is because that's where a lot of people are now getting their news from? Or is it a combination of that plus the fact that they feel like it can be um, we can be attacked through TikTok. Four sources also told Reuters that ByteDance would rather shut down the app than sell it if the company exhausts all options to fight the legislation. So either way, there may be no TikTok for those of you who use it. The president has been clear about the intention to support such a ban despite joining the video sharing app in February. So he's joined it but still wants to ban it. Make that make sense. He did not mention the TikTok provision during a press briefing on Wednesday. Late Tuesday, in a 79 to 18 vote, the Senate passed legislation that could ban TikTok if China-based ByteDance doesn't divest from the platform. The TikTok provision was included in a package of bills that would send aid to Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. So in March, the House passed a standalone version of the ban calling for ByteDance to sell TikTok within 180 days, which is about six months. But it seemed uncertain whether the Senate agreed TikTok posed a national security threat. This happened a year after lawmakers on the House Energy and Commerce Committee brought in TikTok CEO to testify about the platform's ties to China. According to the Washington Post, members of Congress and Biden administration have been working for months to develop the uh, latest bill. The newest iteration now gives ByteDance nine months to sell the app or face a national ban. The president can also grant a one-time extension of 90 days of ByteDance proves it's on the path of um, divesting in that company. When would the ban go into effect? So let's get into that. The earliest a TikTok ban could start is January 2025 or April 2025 if the one-time extension is granted. However, legal experts anticipate that with TikTok threatening legal action, the ban could be postponed for seven, well, for even longer, they're saying. A source told NBC News that the upcoming presidential election was definitely conveniently addressed by the new deadline. Former President Donald Trump also tried to leverage Biden's support of the ban in a truth social post, advising young people to remember this on November 5th, um, which is election day. Trump signed an executive order in August 2020 to ban TikTok if Bike Dance didn't sell it within 45 days. It was later blocked in court. So even though Trump is telling everyone to remember what Biden is trying to do and take away TikTok, he also was planning to do the same thing. So um, at least according to this article, let me just say that. Allegedly. If ByteDance cannot or refuses to sell TikTok within an allotted time frame, it will be illegal for the app stores and web hosting companies like uh excuse me, like Akamai Technologies to distribute or update the app. TikTok was banned in India nearly four years ago, along with dozens of other Chinese-owned apps. Following a military 
uh, clash along the India-China border. India had about 200 million TikTok users. The U.S. has around 170 million, making it making it the country with um, the most users outside of China. Within months of the ban, those millions of users in India flocked to Google's YouTube Shorts and Instagram Reels, which is likely the future for American users too. So they are determined that they're going to get rid of this. So I wanted to bring this to y'all attention. So it says, but it seems like it would go against the Biden administration's attempt to block tech giants from becoming even more powerful. A major difference between India's ban and U.S. potential ban is that TikTok has said it will go to court against the U.S.'s decision, which it did not do for India's ban, citing the First Amendment. Let's see. First Amendment concerns with the TikTok ban. The executive of Knight First Amendment Institute of Columbia University said the statement Wednesday that the ban is unconstitutional. The First Amendment means that the government can't restrict Americans access to ideas, information, or media from abroad without a very good reason for it. And no such reason exists here is what they're saying. They're repackaging the government's reasons for the ban in the language of national security does not change the analysis. They're saying there's no security except no national security exception exception for the first amendment. So I want you guys to see what was happening let me know what you think whether you even care at all um this is what the person who actually owns the app had to say hi everyone the show here as you may have heard congress passed the bill that the president signed into law that is designed to ban tiktok in the united states that will take tiktok away from you and 170 million americans who find community and connection on all platforms make no mistake this is a ban, a ban on TikTok and a ban on you and your voice. Politicians may say otherwise, but don't get confused. Many who sponsored the bill admit a TikTok ban is the ultimate goal. It's obviously a disappointing moment, but it does not need to be a defining one. It's actually ironic because the freedom of expression on TikTok reflects the same American values that make the United States a beacon of freedom. TikTok gives everyday Americans a powerful way to be seen and heard. And that's why so many people have made TikTok part of their daily lives. Rest assured, we aren't going anywhere. We are confident and we will keep fighting for your rights in the courts. The f okay, so you saw what he had to say. And also the questions that I have is, do you think that it is a national security um, breach to continue to have TikTok as an app accessible to everyone um including the president apparently who has an account as of february um, or should it be banned is that too much control for the government let me know down in the comments y'all i will see you in the next video remember that i love you but god truly loves you more he created only when you be the best you that you could be and when you are go out and spread god's love and spread this video you guys so more people will know what exactly is happening what does it mean and i'll see you guys in the next video so hit that um, subscribe button and turn your notifications on as there will probably be more than one video today. Okay.